Hey guys, welcome back to FIFA 22 Arsenal Career Mode. And today we'll be starting off with this month of the uh, Youth Academy. Again, not getting a lot of jam. Well, ex except that I thought Reggie Booth from the first three episodes, I thought he could be a jam, but all of a sudden it was just completely crap and I have to release him. And of course, our goalkeeper, Dries Paul Wells, have been probably the most... The most successful Youth Academy product we have so far, even though I haven't caught him up yet, because again, uh, I don't really need another goalkeeper at this point, unless uh, he wants to cancel his contract, then I'll do that. I will, you know, personally call him up. But again, we have Neto coming from Barcelona. Uh, par well, I can't talk today. Barcelona from uh, yeah, from from Barcelona, and of course that would be if. Paul Wells are to be called up. He will not be our first choice or second choice, but we'll see in in the near future. Cause I might, you know, I, I might fancy a few uh, a few youth academy products if I want to. Because again, um, I still haven't really utilized that system yet. I bought this game literally last week or less than last week to be honest. And and um, and yeah, of course, I'm trying to. Uh, Try and try to do the best the best I could, you know. Try and finish this Arsenal career mode if I can. I'm trying not to rush it. Instead, I will, you know, maybe start a new Road to Glory series. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys want me to do. And our first game today, we'll be traveling away to Old Trafford against Manchester United. Oh my God, how the mighty have fallen! Manchester United currently sitting at 11th with 5 wins, 3 draws, and 5 losses. I have no clue what the hell is happening with that team for the past few years, to be honest. No, not for the past few years. This season. Last season, they ended up like, what, second place? And all of a sudden, people thought uh, they are the favorites to win the Premier League this season. But then all of a sudden, those are just talks. So um, not sure what's happening within the whole management. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, it's gone. And right now it's uh, uh, the new manager, the interim manager is taking charge. And literally they are very, very inconsistent. Manchester United after signing Varane, Sancho and also Ronaldo. I thought, you know what? Manchester United definitely has the ability to win the Premier League. And all of a sudden everything just fell apart for them. And... Uh, I, I can't really say for a lot of Manchester United fans out there, but Manchester United can do better than what they're doing right now. Even though they're currently sitting at fifth, uh, but then Arsenal have two games in hand. So, And uh, today's game, we scored quickly two goals, ESR and also Martin Ogodegaard. And you know, from the last episode, ESR has decided to send me an email saying that he is he he is bored he wanted more game time so I give him that you know what he did his job scoring the first goal of today's game and right there he could have scored the second one what a great folly right there imagine him scored that one that would be amazing and today I don't even see Ronaldo on the team sheet to be honest and instead they put Cavani in there and of course Dean Henderson is playing goal not sure is it because of uh, the AI generated management that causes such a mess at, at uh, Manchester United clearly if, if 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 Ronaldo and also De Gea or fit to play they're gonna play him but i have literally no clue where they are but instead we ended this game two to nothing a clean sheet more importantly finally getting back to the winning ways after um winless for the past three games in the premier league and the next game we're traveling away from home at goodison park again evident it's my first ever career mode that i have done in this uh in this channel if you guys remember um, that my first career mode was the evident back in FIFA 17. Oh my God, guys, that's like literally five years ago. Time has time has gone by that quickly, and right now I'm doing Arsenal career mode in FIFA 22. Five years later, uh, the graphics, everything just runs so smoothly. To be honest, you know what? You can never imagine how a game can evolve that quickly, and of course. Evident, it's another team that should be talked about. Again, not sure what's happening within the management. There was a huge mirror side 
derby derby before and all of a sudden liverpool are clear ahead of everton it was not even a close battle close debate but everton it's actually fighting for relegation battle and i'm not sure what's going on with them but you know what it would be funny to be honest it would be funny seeing evident evident uh getting relegated i'm gonna i gotta put it out there to be honest and a lot of players now the only players that remains in the in, in the team that i play in fifa 17 is actually calvert lewin and he might be a potential main target for us in the next uh in the next summer transfer window because i highly rated that dude he's english he's really good at like in the air you know good area attack as well and that's the type of play that i really do need and just like that he scored the goal and esr scored his second goal in two games and he is definitely showing me a message giving me a clear message why he should be in the starting lineup and just like that he keeps scoring and right there he hit the pose and uh and donny van der beek oh my god what the hell just happened to him he literally just took down one of our players and got himself sent off and i'm not sure honestly that's the third that's the third red card that we uh that the opposition have has had against us so i don't know if the ai has enhanced the the tackling ability in the game for ai but certainly that's how i'm feeling and that's why we are actually making a difference the first game was against uh brantford and we uh clearly won that game and then the second game was west ham it was uh, i think it was so check i believe yeah it was so check but then in the end it was a defeat for us and right now evident um that red card just gave us a free goal in the end so we won this game again back to back wins and it's 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 good to see esr back in the score sheet and also lacazette as well and that would be lacazette 13th goal of the season and right now moving on to the f the third game of this uh of this four game uh episodes we are going back to emirates stadium against uh southampton and earlier in the episode you guys can see our our fixture is pretty tied up seven games in this in this um in this in this month plus we have what you call it. uh we were knocked out of the carabao cup i guess that's a that's a blessing in this guys or else it would have been like two more games one or two more games in the month of december thank god that wasn't the case and right now we are playing southampton i'm pretty pretty positive about today's game against southampton they're not really a good team but then who would have thought in th 23rd minute theo walcott former arsenal player scored the first goal in the game and we are trailed by one goal and what a great finish by theo walcott this is where this team was the team where he grew up and then came to arsenal and it went to evident and right now his career just kind of dipped really poorly for the last five years after he left arsenal so um well that's you know that's that's the life as a footballer if you're not good enough you're just gonna fall back deep into like not much of a greater team and an esr third goal in three games this guy esr emil smith row it's on fire you guys can deny that he asked to play every day and i give him that opportunity and he took it very well and right now we have equalized the game and right now martin odegaard with a uh with a counter attack and here's Mikhail saka what a great chip right there literally no fear no finesse shot nothing not even blast it oh pass the goalkeeper this he decided to uh to chip it over the goalkeeper and it works and we are taking a two one lead right before halftime and then moving on to the second half of today's game Bukayo Saka keep dribbling to Martin Odegaard chips in the middle to to Thomas Partey and he scored our third goal of today's game what a great build up great assist by Martin Odegaard and Thomas Partey um has been fantastic for us to be honest and I hope that even though he is at his prime of his career and I really hope that 
his rating is not going to drop. But ESR right there with another goal. Four goals in three games. And what a great finish right there. Just cuts back inside. And this is probably one of the worldies. You know, ball rolls in the middle and finesse that one to top right corner. Hitting underneath the bar. And then goalkeeper Calabarro has no chance of saving that one. And Calabarro is like, what, 40 year old and in the game. He looks nothing like the real Calabello in real life. So in 71st minute, they have another chance, Southampton, but great save by Aaron Ramsdale. We don't have a clean sheet anymore, but we're trying to uh, leg it out and try not to have uh, allowed Southampton to score another goal. And then right there, crosses the middle to Aaron Ramsdale. And that's how we won three games straight. And ESR again, another, another player of the game for us. And this guy has been very consistent for the past two games and three games. And right now, he is the star. He is the star of early December for now. And uh, we ended the goal. We ended the game 4-1 against Southampton. And moving on to Arsenal against West Ham. And this is the last game of today's episode. And right now, we are sitting at second with Wolves currently at first place. And who would have thought... Wolves are currently at first, which is, I found that very mind-blowing. Honestly, this, so far this season has been su super dynamic. Um, a lot of teams have claimed the first place uh, a few times already, like uh, the likes of Wolves. Leeds was up there for a while, Liverpool, us, and also Newcastle United. Yeah, this is a very competitive league, as you guys know. But West Ham United, last time out, they traveled to Emirates Stadium. They they won four one, I believe, in the in the Carabao Cup. And right now, we are here to take some revenge. Antonio scores the first goal for West Ham United, but we quickly answer one back with Lacazette, and then ESR with another assist. And this time, ESR is replacing Martin Odegaard in the middle, trying to switch it off a little bit, trying to, trying to get um, Gabriel Mar Martinelli a little bit of a chance here and there because I have been freezing him a lot. And of course, not it's not quite possible to rotate the squad as many as I wanted to. Instead, I some people ha have to sacrifice. And Martin Odegaard has been a little bit quiet, even though he scored a very important goal against Manchester United. But I think resting him today will give us a much greater greater benefit in the future. But plus, I have I'm converting ESR to a cam role. Not sure if I should stick with ESR as a left winger or left midfielder. But certainly, ESR has the versatile to perform very well in both uh, in both position. And right there, West Ham United score. The second goal, taking a 2-1 lead, and all of a sudden, quickly, we fire one back. Martinelli scores the equalizer in the 64th minute. And at uh, this game, are getting super intense. And Martinelli, again, a great player. We have a bunch of great youngsters. It's so hard to rotate them sometimes, but this is the best that I can do for now. And ESR scoring another goal. Five goals in three in four games and this guy is definitely on fire i have i have no trouble or keep saying or keep repeating like that but esr is definitely up there to probably the contender of play of the month for premier league and also for arsenal and uh right here 77 minute here comes west ham and uh right there declan rice uh try to take a shot but good save by ramsdale and then West Ham just gave a mistake, gave it away to Bukayo Saka, to, to Martinelli, and we finish up the game 4-2 right there. Apparently this year, AI makes a lot of mistakes at the back, and there's it already happened several occasions already, this one included, where the AI will just like kind of like passes, passes at the back and just give it to one of us, including goalkeeper as well in the last minute. West Ham United could have scored another one. It it was a great through ball, but in the end nobody was there for the end product. But anyway, we won this game 4-2. A very successful episode, I would say. Four games and uh, four games, four wins, and I believe we reclaim. We I actually I don't even know yet, but one thing for sure, Smith Rowe is currently the hottest. Uh, hottest player in the Premier League and right there we finish it off this episode at the um, at second with 37 points 12 wins one draw uh, four losses and Wolves are currently a uh, one point ahead of us but 
something is very notable we score a lot of goals in this season so for 44 but then uh the number of goals we conceded it's relatively quite high compared to liverpool they only conceded 12 which i find it very surprising so uh, i hope you guys enjoy this episode and in the next episode uh we'll be covering the last the last three games or last three to four games of december hope you guys enjoyed this episode like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in a bit